Lord Control, I see a target locator. Any artillery support in the area? Limited, but we'll prioritize whatever you need, ma'am. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Inting Immers, and this is part 7 of Halo Reach. Uh, part level is called Get the Hell Off My Lawn. Um, and level is already saw this, is part 2 of that level, of course. And uh, like I said, it's like 4 or 5 parts to level, and I wasn't expecting it to be. Um, oh, I did edit that out, I was wondering if I cut it out, but uh, well, if I cut it out or if I left it in. And it appears I did edit it out. There was a really, there was a bit where I basically had to kill myself because of the stupidity of what I did, basically. Uh, and it involves a warthog. <laughs> I got a warthog stuck. Also, that guy just bounced off the uh, thing there. Didn't notice that in the original when I was playing. Come on, cat, get in. Cat's a bit annoying because she sometimes gets out of the vehicle and starts shooting at things if you stop um, and then she doesn't get back in until she's killed everything which is really annoying also she doesn't really shoot the hunters later which is very annoying and you can go two ways uh, but we're going to go both ways anyway because you have to but you can choose which to do first I always pretty much decide to go left whenever I play Halo Reach whenever I, when, when I used to play when I used to do the campaign a lot uh, because this is easier to do first. Although, if you're playing co-op, you can do both at the same time, I think. Which is what I would probably recommend doing. Actually. I, re I would recommend doing both. Uh, basically, do not drive your Warthog into this area. Uh, like, into the actual... Like, this slightly destroyed building. Basically, because... You will die. Well, you won't die, the Warthog will get stuck, so that's what I mean. If you're really unlucky like me. Because I basically went in there so the guy, like, so... The guy in the turret would have a better shot. But sadly, it failed. Um, afterwards, because of what uh, is down there below. There is a Revenant. And it will fire at you. There it is, it's firing. And I went to avoid it and did that and then it sort of blew up and I went to go forward and sort of got went over the barrier here and got stuck. And you can't get out of this. Or at least I couldn't. <laughs> Which is really a big issue. And then I got it stuck more. Now luckily, the game did recognise this once you kill the revenant and it will give you a second one. It will give you a second warhog. But the guy who, I forgot who it is, who was talking to you, but he doesn't seem very happy about it. <laughs> but actually killing that Revenant was surprisingly difficult. Because uh, basically I tried to get it and it ran me over, because that's how vehicles in this game work. Also, the skir those are skirmishes. The skirmishes jumping down is really surprising. There we go, see? Luckily I managed to just grab hold of it and pull the guy out, pull the elite out that time, but... Oh, wait, that was one... I forgot what armour class that elite is. But, uh, that's the thingy elite. That's the one that was limited edition only, or legendary edition. Well, no, because the, the legendary edition includes limited edition version of the game. But basically, it was an exclusive armour skin on multiplayer. And I always wanted it for the machinima because I always thought it looked cool. Uh, but I could never get the uh, limited edition version of the game. I mean, I could, but I was always like, well, what's the point? I already own the game. Why would I spend, like, 15 quid buying a used copy of the... that version at the time when I already have the game? But uh, you never know, I might do that. Although it might be more expensive now, to be honest. And cats driving that like an idiot. But don't worry, we're going to get another. We're going to get another warthog. I tried to get rid of it, but I think it's because I blew it up here. Well, sort of blew it up. But it. He was like, "Yeah, I feel sorry for you." There it is. There's the spare warthog. 
And we're going to pick that dude up because he can use the turret, although I believe... I believe Cat got on the turret this time. Which was surprising. Yep, she did. She popped on there because that's how this works. And that was a drift. Give me a ride. I think the guy should have known that wasn't going to hit him. Although sometimes I have so. <laughs> but uh, I'd stand there. I wouldn't try and dive out of the way. Actually, I probably would. And that is doing its weird laggy thing now on my screen. That is annoying. Although my, uh, like, the footage is lagging, but not the recorded audio. That's not great. So I'm just going to have to uh, pause the recording here and then come back. Right, look, here we are. It's like nothing happened. Except, you know, I can actually see the footage now and it's running at a stable frame rate. I have no idea what was causing that. I think something's weird with the graphics card in this computer because Sony Vegas can't see it anymore. Actually, it's not even Sony Vegas, Vegas anymore, it's Magix Vegas. I think it might just automatically find the graphics card and use it. I hope, anyway. Because Vegas used to, dis Sony Vegas used to actually display if it was using a graphics card or integrated graphics. Uh, which you never want to use integrated graphics uh, if you can help it but yeah um, Magic's Vegas doesn't have that option in the thing I can't find it anywhere when I used to be able to find it in Sony Vegas so I think it just automatically finds the graphics card if you've got it in which would be nice I hope it has found it but you never know but considering the fact that I do know that my PC is using it because considering uh, if it doesn't I wouldn't have any footage uh, I wouldn't have any screen at all considering my graphics my graphics card has HDMI out and only HDMI out and my uh, motherboard only has VGA out and I do not have a VGA capable monitor I only have HDMI capable or DVI really but uh, it's DVI and HDMI are exactly the same Look, we're killing a whole bunch of grunts and elites. Those are the speckled elites, I believe. Ah, uh, they are a real pain not to kill. And I don't know where these ghosts came from, actually. But we're being blown up here. That's not good. I don't... It seems like my audio's gone down. In the... Like, the microphone being able to pick it up, that's really weird. It was really loud, now it's... Now it's not, that's... Hmm, I have no idea what causes that sometimes. Maybe I just need to get really close to it. I wish we could hit that guy, but annoyingly that's in the way. I did try and uh, hit him with the... With a sticky grenade, which I have there, but I miss. He just dived out of the way, that really annoyed me. But luckily, with them being there and firing at him, it gives him a sort of... I basically flank him. And can assassinate. Here we go. And here is the assassination. There we go. Um, but we're coming up to the end of this part, and we're at like three more parts of this level, I think. But yeah, I've been Rob, being from the Instant Gamers. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for part... Part 8, which is minimum safe distance. Ta-ra.